What's up everybody, it's Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Dragon Quest Builders. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we ran across a quest to basically build a harp, essentially, um, for the ghost of Galileo, who has also warned us about Barbella here repeatedly, to which we're totally ignoring him pretty much. Um, so I should point this out, this is being recorded back to back with the last episode, so if you gave me any insight or anything, like, I don't know how I'm supposed to actually say the word leer, liar, whatever, um, yeah, I haven't seen it yet, so keep that in mind as I continue to mispronounce things. Um, I also took the advice from a couple episodes ago. I didn't realize this cannon structure was actually outside the perimeter of the Wall of Light, so when we end up having to do battle with the uh, inevitable boss, um, that would have all gotten wiped out. So thanks in advance, or I guess in retrospect, not in advance. Moving on. Um, so yeah, now that's within inside the light perimeter, so it should stay no matter what. And I also reconfigured it a little bit, as you can see, and I'm hoping this works. Because in my tests, those piston- or those, uh, pressure plates down there do not actually activate the cannons. With that said, that should mean they don't go and blow everything up. Which would be good. Um, and these do not blow anything else up from this distance. So my only hope- I don't suppose they spawned over here where I could test this theory, did they? Of course not. So my only hope would basically be that, um, yeah, they do that. Like, that the cannons will basically recalculate and hit things, but the pistons will not actually break stuff. Of course they're over here. Eh, I just don't want to deal with them. Um, I keep checking, that laser thing freaks me out, but it's still not blowing up, so that's good. So anyways, let's craft this harp theme a bobber Because I do actually have the ingredients to make it now. The liar of ire. I, I feel like it's supposed to be saying liar. The reason is, I think the other word is supposed to be pronounced ire. I think. So, it would be a funny play on words, you know, liar buyer kind of thing. I think. I don't know. Could be totally wrong. So I got some silver from the- in between the last episode. So that makes that. Yay. Now... Um... Now... This is weird. It says go way over there. Let me talk to Glutamus again, because he might have more insight as to where I'm taking it. Have you managed to fix up that liar and give it to, to Galileo yet? The first thing you gotta do is head through the green teleport. Okay, that's all I needed to know. Oh wait, no, 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 Pooh, that's not what I needed to know. He was telling me where to get the thing that I already got. Alright, let's see if we... Let's walk through this again. Uh, teleport, as soon as you found that, you can use the stranger, blah, blah, blah. When you fix it up, head over to Galileo and tell him it's a present from Barbella. I reckon he'll be so happy. Yeah, but where is he? Is he back at the tower thing where we went before? Let's try that. I doubt he's hanging out in the bad guy's dungeons anymore, so he's probably where we found the, um... He's probably where we found the... Oh, wait! No, that was in the green teleportal, wasn't it? Or red. Not green. Yeah, I think I'm in the wrong one. I think I was supposed to go through the other one. Okay, so I'm back in the green teleportal area because when I went to the red one, it wasn't pointing us back to that tower. So I'm trying to kind of use the whole Q marker thing and follow it because I think we're just in uncharted territory at this point. As to like, you know, where I actually am. But I think it is actually in this... on this island. Yep, okay, it's right there. Whew, that was close. Is this like his grave? Yo! Ah, you again. Tell me, Sparrow. I should do a really, like, upstanding... Why must we humans be such stubborn creatures? Alright, I would like to point one thing out. 
pretty sure, judging by his ears, he's an elf. Not a human. Just me, just my opinion. Could be a human. I think he's an elf. If we would accept our lowly fates rather than struggle against them, we could live our lives without sadness, without pain. If only I could express these feelings in song, the weight that lies heavily upon my heart might be lifted. But alas, I must keep my silence for now. It would not do for my singing to disturb Lady Cecile's sleep any further. Um. Boom, dude. C could this be? You're back, are you? Is there something I can- My goodness! Is that the Lyre of Ire, my family's most precious heirloom? But how and why? What? It is a gift from Barbella. She thought that if you presented this to me, I might teach you how to build my ultimate invention in return. That is a lie. Barbella would never resort to bribery. It is not in her nature. But this is indeed the Lyre of Ire. However, did you repair it? I see. So you are the legendary builder. I had wondered why you were able to see me. Now I know. You are the builder. Within whose finger... Within whose? I mean, whom's? I don't know how that actually... Whose fingertips dwells the long-lost power of creation. If only I had been granted such an ability, perhaps I could have completed my research. Duh, that's what I'm here for, dude. I envy you, Sparrow. Rubus has blessed you with the power to create, the power that was stolen from humankind so many years ago. Sparrow, you're the only one who can complete my life's work. Here, build these blocks and fill in the blanks. Only by that will you and Barbella obtain that which you seek. Why do I feel like that's a catch, though? Blue block, a chunk of chalk, dyed a bright blue. Um... For real, dude? That's your ultimate invention? A blue block of chalk? Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Let's see how this goes. Of course, you couldn't just explain to me how to build the dang thing. No, no. Here's a block of chalk. Because reasons. Okay, let's see what Glutimus has to say about my new block of chalk. What you, Sparrow? How'd it go with Galileo? So, he saw through my little scheme, did he? I had a feeling he might. Galileo always was a proper clever... Was a proper clever clogs. I feel like that's a little weird. And it pained me to say it, but he knew Barbella better than any of us, and all. Oh, it pains me. What do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? Come on, Sparrow, don't tell me you haven't clocked on yet. Galileo and Barbello didn't just work together, they were together. Actually, I hadn't picked up on that. Barbello was born in Cole, where it's... ...ot as all ek. It's hard to figure out what they're trying to say sometimes with all these apostrophes. And Galileo was born in Gallenholm, where it's cold enough to freeze your pecs off. Their personalities are as different as their own towns. But still, there was something special between them. They'd spend their days inventing weapons to fight off the monsters, laughing and flirting all the while. Honestly, it was enough to make a bodybuilder blush. And then, after all of them... After all of them long... Oh, I got it. After all of them long, art-bound in days together, came that fateful night when at long last... She killed him. <laughs> I don't know exactly what happened. Barbell has never talked about it. And I've never asked. Whatever happened that night, I'm sure she had her reasons. I believe in her. Couldn't have, like, bled with that. So that's that. That's the terrible truth she's gotta face if she's gonna get Galileo's ultimate invention up and running. Thanks for helping me with this, Sparrow. You better go and tell Barbella what you found out. Yeah, well, at least that confirms our long-believed theory. She is a murderer, and she did kill Galileo. But apparently she had her reasons, so it's okay, I guess. Depending on the reasons, I suppose. You don't have to explain. Glutimus told me everything. Hmm. He's got a lot of nerve going behind my back like that. Well, never mind all. 
All's well that ends well, I suppose. So what's this clue Galileo gave you about building the ultimate weapon? Chalk. Blue blocks, eh? What are we supposed to use them for? Hold on, I've just remembered something. Galileo had this storeroom over in Gallenholm that he used to hide his secret plans from the monsters. He said he'd put a special lock on the place that they'd never be able to crack, and I reckon them blocks blocks have got to have something to do with it. Go on, Sparrow, whip up a couple of them blue blocks, take them over to that storeroom, and see if you can figure it out. So that's what he meant by put all the blocks together. Got it. Now, to make blue blocks. Um, how, how, how uh, do I do that? Ah, there they are. Blue blocks. I really have no idea how many I'm going to need. I imagine one will be enough. Because it's ten? Let's go ahead and make another one. Wait, what does it need again? Ice! Oh, and I got a crap ton of ice from that uh, deal with the giant over there when he was smashing up all the igloos. Actually, no, give me that. Okay, so let's head over. I'm assuming everything at this point is through the green teleportal by this, because that's kind of the latest one. Okay, so we're here in the green teleportal area. There's the crazy giant and the igloos. Point of reference in case you need it. And there is our quest marker. Just get rid of this guy. Because he's totally not bothering me at all. Hey! No fair. I want a spell like that. Not fair at all. Okay. Okay, so here's... Alright, um... Hmm. I don't know. Do we fill in, like, all of these blocks to make it even? Maybe? Oh, wait, there it is. <laughs> I mean... <clears throat> I totally knew that. I knew that. Bearer of blue blocks. Fill in the blanks in the floor to fill in the blanks in your knowledge. Am I the only one that seems to think that that's kind of a actually fairly obvious locking mechanism? Other than the whole you have to know how to make blue blocks, which I guess that's kind of what this hinges on them not knowing is how to make blue blocks. Whoa! Hey! Hey now! No one said nothing about monsters defending the blocks here. Ow, Chihuahua. Hey, no, you don't get to run away. Alright. Shooting me, bro. Hey, I got. Oh, crap. I was gonna say, hey, I got one of those too. Like that. Dang it! <laughs> Why does his have so much more reach? Ah! I gotcha. Oh, that's not even fair. Oh boy! You know what? Screw this. Just die. So, here's a question. How are there monsters guarding the treasure? If they can't figure out how to get it. Sparrow opens the treasure chest. What luck? The prototype plans! Ask for Vol- Vol- Wait, whoa, what is that? Volco- Volac- <laughs> Volco- Voltaic- Mag- <laughs> Magamotor. Volco- Vo Voltaic- Magamotor. What in the world? Who came up with that? Is that even a word? Probably not. I mean, it's totally made up. Um... Where is it, though? Magamotor. Volta... Volt... Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm done. I can't even... I'm, I'm not even bothering. I wanted to see how it's made, though. Is it a building? Oh, there it is. Alright, so I need a welder's workbench, power crystal, curious contraption, and thermo batteries. We have everything but the curious contraption things. Whatever those are. Who knows? 
I guess we can go find out. Because I really have no... I mean, I've never run across that before. I'm actually kind of surprised that they gave us the recipe for that saloon and then I still don't have some of the parts for it. You found the plans for a prototype invention in Galileo's storeroom? Quick, Sparrow, let me take a... Butcher's Adam? I don't think they're using words in the proper way they're supposed to use words. Kerbloimey, these designs tell us everything we need to know to f to, n to finish building the ultimate weapon. Heh, useless to the last day. Eh? Useless to the last, eh? I tried to figure it out on my own, but in the end I couldn't finish the job without his help. The man I loved, and the man I killed. I'm kind of looking for some context here. I've told you all about the research Galileo was working on, right? He poured his heart and soul into trying to find a way of combining the powers of ice, of fire and ice. But no matter how hard he tried, he never could finish the job until you turned up. Us humans just didn't have the power to build the, that kind of thing. With every failed experiment, his mind and his body wasted away, and there was nothing I could do to help him. And then, one day, the Dragon Lord came. He told Galileo that if he joined up with the monsters, he'd be given knowledge beyond all human understanding. The power to complete his life's work. It was too much for Galileo to resist. He said yes. Ironic, isn't it? He'd spent his life working on an invention that could wipe the Dragon Lord's armies out. Army. Whatever. But he got so obsessed with his work, he lost sight of his true aim and ended up joining them. We promised each other that whatever happened, whatever we we had to do, we'd never let the monsters win. So when he became one of them, I did what I had to do. Well, that makes sense. Okay, you're cool. <sighs> Moving on. Kablimey, why'd you make me spill my guts out like that? I didn't say anything. But anyway, it's time to stop moping over the past and start looking to the future. We've got to get that ultimate weapon built and take out the monster's leaders. Galileo got as far as finishing off the Volcovoltaic Magmotor. <clears throat> I did it. That was supposed to power the thing. But he never could figure out how to put together the weapon itself. So now it's your turn. Time to show us what the builder can really do. This is it, Sparrow. It's finally time to put this war to bed. Use that Magamoto to build the ultimate weapon, and use the ultimate weapon to defeat the Magmalus and the Fern Fiend. It's up to you how you build it, and what you call it. But whatever you do, you've got to get that weapon built. Mm -hmm. Uh, quest marker has appeared on the compass. Bashmobile! It's a vehicle?! There's vehicles in this game. A spiked trike that can move at scary speeds, can be ridden to increase movement speed, can be used repeatedly. What? What? Alright, hold up. How in the world do we build this? Alright, I need the Volcovoltaic Magamotor. I'm getting it! Magic ingots, thermal battery. But we have one problem. How do I make the curious contraption thing? Oh, that's the quest marker, isn't it? Isn't it? I bet it is. Um, let's sleep, I think. Because I want to basically use a free heal kind of thing. But also... It'll be easier to explore in the daytime. I think I'm gonna go exploring in the green teleportal area and see if I can... If that's where the quest marker is directing me. Because I need one of those curious contraption things, otherwise I won't be able to build this thing. Everything else I've got. But it only requires one, so I'm thinking I only need one. Um, so let me go explore for a bit, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we're actually through the red teleportal, not... Oh boy. Not the uh, the green one, and we've gone all the way over here. Like the left, over in the left top corner is where the portal is, and we kind of ran this way, and we found the fortress. Uh, which I talked to what's her name, um, Barbella. Again, when I couldn't figure out where I was going, 
and she told me, you know, that uh, you needed the contraption thing, but the notes didn't say how to build it, so you're gonna have to basically figure it out. And you probably want to go to this fortress in the red teleportal, basically. So I followed the marker thing and I just ran over here. I'm kind of just running through this because I really have no incentive to fight them. Um, though I'm kind of curious as to where the fortress actually is. Because there was supposed to be a fortress here. There it is. Now, how do I get over there? I guess I was supposed to go around. I don't know how I was supposed to do it. We're the builders. We're builders. We don't need to know exactly how. We'll just make our own path. Screw it. Oh, that was a little far. I don't think they'll be able to drop that far. They get stuck like this every once in a while. It's kind of annoying. I wonder if I can just... Oh, there they go. Good for you guys. Good job. Take one for the team. A group of monsters up here's where exactly? Um, oh, I guess sand. <laughs> sand. Snow is collecting. That's kind of cool. Um, is there a door? For chance around these parts? There it is. So sweet. Excuse me. Coming through. Oh boy. Oh man, and their quest marker too. I was hoping they weren't quest guys. I can't see. This brings new meaning to the phrase blindly swinging. Alright, not doing too bad. Alright, we got one guy down. Why does it say four of eight? I don't like where that's going. Boom! Alright, who's next? Uh I kind of expected there to be more monsters. Oh, they're there. They're all up here. I was gonna say, I was like, oh, um, there's gotta be more around here somewhere. Hey! You guys are supposed to tank for me! Get tanking! I probably should make a new sword sometime soon. Life and Sparrow opens the treasure chest. What luck the curious contraption. Boom. Alright. So let's get back to the base so that we can build a car. Alright, so it is the next day and we are back at the base. Okay, so let's see what all am I missing? Thermal batteries. And I'm missing lava. Poo. Would you look at that? I just magically have lava in my inventory now. I wonder how that got there. <clears throat> All right, thermal batteries. Check. Check. Volcovoltaic magmotor. Mm -hmm. Getting there. Getting better at it. All right, now I need eight magic ingots and more thermal batteries. So. Thermo batteries. Boom. Done. Uh, magic ingots. Power crystal. Okay, we got plenty. Let's just make more, because I'm going to need some for making more armor and stuff anyway. Might as well. Oh my gosh! It's the Bash Mobile! Can't believe we're making this. This is happening. Alright, let's talk to Barbell before we actually use this and get ourselves killed. 
You've done it! You've built the ultimate weapon! Thanks, Sparrow. Now Galileo can rest in peace. Just imagine how differently things could have turned out if it... If he'd built this thing for the Dragon Lord. If the monsters had that kind of power, we, we wouldn't have stand, stood a chance. There ain't a day goes by that I don't regret what I did, but maybe it was for the best. Don't get me wrong, Sparrow. I didn't do what I did to save the world. I did it to save him. Blimey, Sparrow, why have you got me talking all soppy again? I'm not doing anything. It's time to forget about the past and start concentrating on the future. Future. And there ain't nothing more futuristic than that weapon you've built. I thought it was going to be some kind of rocket, but it's actually something you can ride in, right? So, have you come up with a name for it yet? What? what? The Bashmobile? Pfft! You might be a genius at building things, Sparrow, but you can't name them to save your life. Still, it ain't the name that counts. Now that we've got old of the ultimate weapon, we're all ready to take on the Magmalinus and the Fern Fiend. Come on, Sparrow, let's take that Bashmobile of yours down to the Monster's Manor and teach those blighters a lesson. Oh, and thanks, Sparrow. After all you've done for me, I can't thank you enough. Sweet. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Stone me, what the heck was that shaking all about? Surely it can't be. Uh, my money is on a certain magma dude and a certain ice dude teaming up. <laughs> this is hilarious. Yes! Oh, it's got a boost! Oh my! So what happens if I hit things? Oh, it stops me! What? How, how is this the ultimate weapon? What if I boost? Oh, it does a hundred damage. Oh! Oh, it is the ultimate weapon! <laughs> okay, I'm having a little too much fun with this. Um, I don't know that we want to start the whole let's go take on the Magmalus and all them right away. <laughs> um, because we don't really have that much time left, so I don't really want to take on a boss battle and transition and all that kind of stuff, so I think we're going to save that for next episode because this is hysterical. <laughs> beware. Evil monsters, beware. Oh, and it it jumps on its own. Oh, this is cool. This is fun. Okay, yeah, I'm having way too much fun with this. I'm going to wrap things up here, I think, for this episode. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!